Uh, welcome to ATB TV. I'm Darren Dance here with Peter Morgani on a freezing Friday afternoon in Ballarat, but uh, you hear that every week. Just talking to Jason Warren down at the Geelong race course, Pete, and he said the sun's shining. <laughs> sun? Geelong? I don't know which state of Geelong. But we, uh, he was at the track. We're normally here in the morning. We tried the afternoon, but colder. Yes, it has come in fresh, but um, anyway. Four runners? Yep, four runners we had, four runners we will have. And of the four runners we had, we had a winner last week. Should have had two, Pete. Yeah, the, uh, just the barrier probably beat Cracker Jack Prince in the end. But yep. um, right. we'll roll back. We'll start with... The Prince? Yeah, we'll start with him. He uh, drew wide, went back. I think that was sort of the plans. And uh, he steamed him down the outside. Was he beating a head and a neck or a head and a head? <laughs> sort of didn't know. I was pushing him along to run a place because of the out of multi. And uh, I thought, geez, you're going to get there for a place. And in the end, he was pretty close to winning it. But uh, good good first up effort. Yeah, as you say, just probably the barrier. You know, it's hard from that gate. Like, you know, you, you could drive him forward and hope for a spot. Yeah. And then if you get posted wide, you're going to drop out late. And it looks pretty bad. But yeah. He went conservative, as was the plan. And, yeah, he found the line good. I think another 50 metres, he yeah. nearly wins, doesn't he? Yeah. But it was a good first up run and he said all along the horse is flying this prep and I think we saw that yeah so he'll be off to Bendigo in a couple of weeks yep I think it might be a Sunday meeting and um, at a mile which and a mile which is what he wants right up so. his alley and he won I'm pretty sure he won there first up over 14 so yeah. I think as much as would have been nice to have the win we know he's come back good that's the main thing yeah he's in for a terrific preparation so that was a really big tick for Cracker Jack Prince first up yeah and I wonder about benchmark 64 either so Strong race. bit of form um, later that day we'll, we'll start with Periscope who was in the hurdle and um, plans were to sort of uh, I think at Blinkers first time push forward but uh, as I think young Daniel said, everyone wanted to push forward, and that's what happens sometimes on these tracks where you need to be up front. Now, he did eventually work to sit outside the leader, but he had a power of work to get there. And I thought the horse was brave enough. It was probably the last hundred where he really lost yeah. ground, but uh, I think beating 10 links in a hurdle is not a hell of a lot considering the work he'd done, but I think we've made the move to yep. say bye. Well, you know... Watching that race, it was a really messy race. Yeah. Like they went fast and then they stacked yeah, them up and yeah. then they took off again. And it was really untidy. And you know, he was told to ride him positive, and he was he was trying to ride him positive. <laughs> and but they kept going harder, and then they sort of sit up and pop and jump. And it was really uncomfortable to watch. And he was yeah, very plain in the last two hundred. It's, and it's it's such a tight track too. This, you know, you got runs down the back, but then it's tight, and then the jumps come up quick. And well, the horse that won, one by ten, yeah. nearly, yeah. and it just flew away, and it just highlighted the difference in class yeah. between Periscope and what's required these days to win a maiden yeah. hurdle. Yeah. And um, I think that I think it's Richard O'Donoghue yeah. won both maidens, and they both won the same way, running yeah. away but streeted them. So anyway, Periscope came home today. Uh, he'll go online now. Um, in the sale that starts next week, next Friday actually, it goes live. And um, there's been interest already, Pete. How it, it's amazing how word gets around yeah. that Periscope's coming on the market. Yep. And, and you know, we've had inquiries already and he's not even listed. <coughs> as much as you'd love him to be a half hand or a hand <laughs> taller. Well, we measured he, him. Yeah. He's actually 16 yeah, hands. Well, yeah. So those other horses must be 17 Yeah, hands. bigger horses. But like he, we on the, the stick on the wither. I yeah. know he's got a high wither, but yeah. he's 16 on the yeah, wither. Yeah, well, that's surprising. 15-2 behind, but yeah, he's bigger and he's a real he's, pest. I, he was an absolute <laughs> pest to get him to stand he's, still he's and to parade, parade properly. He was very annoying. I think um, the positives with him, he's a safe jumper. He, uh, he's by he's, raise the flag, he'll stay sound. all day, and he's, he's sound. sound, so that conjures up the interest, and some people think... And he's ready to go. Some think, well, win a maiden, we might be able to improve him, who knows, but... Anyway, um... He's got we, the... He's, it's funny, he's got high life. If you read his resume, he's got a second to Vow and Declare, which yeah. won a Melbourne <laughs> Cup, and he's got a second to Hebe Wright in his maiden hurdle, who went on, went on and won a Grand Annual. So... <laughs> Depression stakes, I call it. And he's it. won one from 35. Depression stakes. Anyway. Anyway, he's done. Uh, later that day, we, we were able to, we were confident or hopeful, <clears throat> I don't know what it was last week when we spoke, but it looked the race for Sea Princess. 
uh, it looked a messy race halfway, <laughs> but Melissa uh, Julius was just patient, waited, didn't go wide, gaps open, and gee, she put them away. Really good. She won really well. Um, it was quite surprising, actually. I was just thinking about it on the way in, you know. She's been running on the synthetics, and she's been just getting out of the ground a bit yeah. and just struggling and just being niggled at to hold a spot. And here she is back on the grass, <laughs> charging, yeah. and the girl's trying to hold her, and she's actually pulling, yeah. which we haven't seen all prep. She's actually been ridden up to hold a spot. So I don't know if, whether she just switched on that day yeah. or whether... That is the difference between synthetic and grass. I think it's a and bit as, of a I think, Yeah, I think Matty summed it up that synthetic, we have to have it. Yeah. Otherwise, we don't have racing in the winter. But the way she travelled and, and wanted to accelerate, yeah. it just she was lengths better on top of the ground. And I think she really peaked for that run as well. And I hate it when they pull because they never finish yeah. off. It doesn't matter where you are, but she charged away yeah. one by three. And uh, that was a terrific win. And Matthew Wynn's done a terrific job with this filly. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going to have a little sneaky look in Adelaide in a couple of weeks. I well, think that Morfordville, there's a benchmark 62. It's going to be right up her alley. Well, it won't be wet. And, well, to um, be fair, it's going to be not much harder than what she beat. And it certainly won't be any harder than those synthetic races because she was beaten by 64 riders. Yeah. They're only going to be 60, you know, 62, 3 or 4 at a pinch. So It's really hard to go to Adelaide and, and win, though. And a mare <laughs> with a... Uh, Mayor allowance, she'll, she'll come into it now. I think Matthew said she won't get any more favours than she will for a city race than that race. It's so. a perfect race. The yeah. only thing is, it's back 100, but yep. anyway, um, we need that Metro win for her resume for Breeden. Yep. But terrific win, and really pleased for all the owners that came on that journey because uh, she was written off at one point, yeah, and then we actually found out what's wrong with her and treated it, and now she's very consistent. Uh, and it belied the thoughts that she didn't have wet tracks earlier in her career. Yeah, so. yeah it was other things going on. Yep. So worth yep. the work to find out what was going on. Yep, for sure. Um, but then we waited till Wednesday. I think you were on track for no, a No, I didn't get there. Did you didn't get there? Didn't no. get there, Wednesday. An Irishman, he um, was first up. It was a fairly handy little race as it turns out. And the Very horse, good. The horse that won it, we actually, uh, it beat us at Matty Valley one day with Supreme Thunder, Seb Song. So, really good class race. He's only beaten four and a half. He he raced well, I thought, but um, he, I think Jamie Mott summed it up quicker. We get out to a mile with him so he can sort of uh, dictate or control a race like we have seen before. It's probably his go. I know we've, we've tried to restrain him and ride him um, quietly to get the best out of him, but he's just a free-rolling horse that just needs, you know, to uh, set up his own tempos, and he can, we know he can kick off a good tempo. Yep. Um, but I, I thought he was fair. Yeah, he just couldn't lead. So, no. You know, he couldn't lead. Uh, so once he couldn't lead, he was in behind him, and, and then he sort of travelled up yeah. nice, but probably just tired yeah. late. Did give a bit. I thought there when he sort of peeled off the heels, I thought, oh, he might go bang here, but he... He was sort of already at his top. Yeah, he was done. So yep. he'll go to a mile next start and he'll control the race and if he's good enough, he'll be winning. Yep. So we had a couple of Irish results and a retirement and, you know, I think an Irishman and a Crackerjack Prince are not going to be far away. No, all those three are in good form. Yep. Four runners coming up. Fleming Todd. With all a... this weekend. Yep. All this... Well, Saturday, Saturday, Sunday. Saturday, Sunday, yeah. So we go to finals day at Flemington for a start. Where we have two <clears throat> two horses that both race really well at Flemington. We'll, we'll start with Serious Suspect in the it's called the Santa Ana Lane Sprint Final down the straight. No, Twelve hundred. No Santa Ana Lanes in this race, Pete. No, no, far <laughs> from it. Actually, <laughs> I think we have got a Group One winner in it, Sava Xtel. Or, yep. I could never say Sava that name. XL, yeah, something like that. It's he's got sixty. He's got kilo. sixty kilos. In the does he lead? He leads, doesn't he? Uh, be the roundabout. Yeah. Um, and because he's in the race, everything else got 54 kilos, which Six kilo suits down. us. Suits us a little bit because I think some of those ones are a little bit down the ratings than us and uh, we'll meet them on level terms, which we probably haven't had that in our favour the four or five runs we've had. We've had probably been badly weighted, but I think horses in serious form. I think um, we've struggled to win with big weights, this yeah. horse. I think when he has won, he's been down in the weights a bit. Well, the Standish was with this weight. Yeah, so... He loves Flemington, he's in good form, he's honest, consistent. Yeah. Um, Already two scratchings too. A couple of yeah, there's only nine runners. The thing from Waterville looked 
like might have started favourite. Ashford Street's out. Yep. So uh, look, yeah. at the end of the day, he's going there. He'll be one of four horses around four or five dollars. I think he'll weigh in unless something goes wrong. But yep. um, look, he's in good form. So I've just rang me this morning to say he's cry practice been over him. He's yep. in great order. He's happy. Um, track's going to be the right sort of. I think it's the first time this prep we look at the race and go. There's more ticks than negatives. Yeah. And it's an even lot. Yep, it's an even lot. Yep. And gee, he deserves to win oh. on this prep, doesn't he? Well, I was talking on the radio this morning. They're going, oh, you know, geez, is this is a good race. And they're going, geez, he hasn't won for 18 months. And it's, you know, probably three quarters of those races, he was really up against it. And then we had a little bit of bad luck with injury and, you know, had a fall I still, I still, bad rides. I still maintain he hasn't won for 18 months because he won that race yeah, 18 no, months ago and he's had to carry all that extra weight all the yeah. time. Yeah. He's been rated to his best. He went up five or six points yeah, real quick. And so, look. He'd be there about. So, I, you know, I know the hundred. You'd love to have 10 of these horses we'll where all they can just go, go yeah. Saturday and just run to their best. That's it. Two oh, rides? Ethan Brown. Uh, I know a lot. The only time he's ridden him down the straight was, well, this guy back where his days. He's got beautiful hands, Ethan, and he actually knows to let this horse roll at yeah. the right time. He, he won't hold him up, yeah. and, and I think it's Swan Elm we've seen that. Yeah. So I reckon it's a really, well, he said he didn't want to get off him, but it's a real good engagement, so well, and he's in good form too. Good luck to everyone. We'll see you down there. Literary Magnet is in the final race. The last race of the day. Oh, Quaddy, Darren might be field, <laughs> serious suspect, field, Literary Magnet. Oh, here we now, go. Now, if ever a, horse, that, that money again. <laughs> ever a horse deserves uh, a little bit of luck and a win, this is this filly or mare. Drawing a good day. Dean Holland. D Holland. Just had his fourth child. Jeez. Got four kids under four, Darren. He's obviously not riding enough. Oh, but, well, to the contrary, I'd say. Just not, <laughs> not working hard enough. Four four kids under four. He, what did he say after he won a race yesterday? I've got to work just to buy <laughs> nappies. <laughs> so, so, what are we, uh, well, what price do you know? $7. Seven bucks. Yeah. Oh, well, if she misses the start, it's all over. Go to, aren't we? Go to, yeah. This is the start of all over. Well, she sh should be in the first four or five, one off the fence, you would think. But if she jumps, got to have it a miss at the start. She does. Can I ask to go in last? <laughs> <laughs> How does that work? I don't know. Can you get a request like that? Oh, you can, I think. But uh, anyway, they're well aware of us. I, I think uh, Dean will be revving her up yeah. in the gates, won't he? I hope so. I hope he's not sleep deprived. Anyway, uh, she gets a chance to win a race. She deserves this. She's good enough. Um, she 1600, sir. She, you'll know after 10 yards. Yeah, silver Bowl final. If she's going to be in it. Worth a bit of money, huh? Taking on the men. Yeah, I don't think that matters. Right. Confident. I reckon she'll go real well. All right. Real well. The thing that won last week that it had no luck for three or four runs is favourite. Be true Cardinal to form. Yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm on. We'll go north. A bit warmer up Sunshine Coast. Might be wet, but is it, is it wet? <laughs> it's been wet. Yeah. They're supposed to get a year's rain in four days. Oh, so we've got the question is, will they race? Is it that bad? Well, the forecast looks horrendous. Well, we've got Southern France, top weight in the Caloundra Cup. 2,400 metre listed race, I think it is. Yep. Last time he was second up, Darren, he only got beaten four lengths behind um, the good horse that won the Cox Plate. No longer with us. Oh yes, um, yes. Mars that, horse. Don't mention the war. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so if he was, if he could be four legs behind the quality horse of it, he should run well second up. But oh, look, there's well. a lot. There's a lot um, of ifs and buts. I well, suppose. he's saying he's saying that he needs to run. Yeah. Um, so we're not going to fall into it. Righto. He says he needs to run. He's looking for 2800, which yep. he, he'll get a Flemington in a fortnight. So. Uh, this is a, a run to finish off his fitness and yep. get him ready for the Flemington Cup in a fortnight. Right, beautiful big track. I just hope they run. Beautiful big track. It's Long good. way to take him. Yeah. Can be a bit leaderish. A bit hard to make ground on that joint. But, Drawn um, gate one or two. Or one of them. Yeah. Ryan so, Wiggins. Yeah, I've never heard of him. I've heard of him, but I don't know much about <laughs> him. So, anyway, anyway, bit of a look and see and a, yeah. and a polish up fitness run. All right. Winning chance maybe on oh, Sunday. In the what the maiden. No highway, don't we? <laughs> I don't know. 58 highway, shot and dandy. God he help got us. his maid. God help us if their best chances in a highway. Well, I hate highways. Yeah. It's got to carry 70, the poor <laughs> little bugger. Oh, he's not that little. Well, he's not that big. Shot and dandy. Shot and dandy, winning four. A highway, what's he doing? Well, there's no other races. Really? 
Did he school him? Uh, I think he might have took him. It was last Tuesday. Did he get his Beat him over. Oh, I got no idea. I've heard from him. But it'll be heavy. He's in France, isn't he? Uh, Andrew? No, he's on the radio this morning. Oh, well, unless he was calling in from France. No, he's on RSN this morning. He's got two good chances down. Oh, well, oh he's in against us. Ocean Beyond, and he's got that thing that I tipped that ran fourth in the two year old. So believe it's going to start raining now. <laughs> this is going to be a short episode. <laughs> um, Sean and Danny in a highway. Who's riding it? Willie McCarthy, he rode oh, the yeah. grand annual winner. He's a good rider. Yeah, so. Um, they're all the same. Half are jumpers, half are no good, and the other half is that three half? Three half, it's up? one half. The other half are flat performance. Are the prices up? I haven't seen any, no, but they probably should be. Ugh. Oh, he'll be nearly favourite. Oh, I'm going purple, look at my yeah. hands. He'll nearly be favourite. Oh, hang on. Where are we going? Where is it? Uh, Sunday. 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 Periscope's half brother beat a few home in the first. Is it a Warnable or Geelong? No, uh, Warnable. Oh, Warnable's up. What race, do you know? Uh, he's in the uh, one after the jumps, so 23.50, race six, race six. Seven bucks. Yeah. Paddy Payne's got one in at 2.60, well, right why wouldn't it be? He's winning everything else. Unbelievable run. Yeah. Um, Ever since you started going video on there, they're just winning. They went once. <laughs> Been too cold ever since. He's probably had 68 wins in the last six days. Yeah, I probably filled 50 of them. We didn't know. I'll tell um, you what, the trial form's standing enough, isn't it? Irishman just wins a trial at Morlake by 28 lengths and just beat. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, trial form. I don't know why they bother video. It's a good way to send so, punters. So, I can, so I can get paid. <laughs> good um, yeah, Puns well, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, seven very bucks selective now. Yeah, seven dollars. Each way chance. I don't know. You'll, it'll be that deep in mud. It will be. <laughs> Are you uh, shivering? Yeah, I'm freezing. <laughs> you got much more to talk about? Oh, I've got about half an hour to go. I think we haven't got... Um, that's it. That's it. And we won't have another run during the week until maybe the weekend. The following weekend, yeah. maybe. So we're a bit light on, but Detonator Jack went back into work today. Yep. I see Steinem's programs come out. She'll yep. be first up in uh, August. Princess. Prince. S of Camelot is working along nicely, yep. I did see. And I see we've got a whole heap trialling at Cranbourne yeah. on Monday, Pete. I did see that. whole heap trialling the down there. Cancelling trial tracks around Victoria. Horsham got a deluge, apparently. We never... Yeah. I was meant to be there this morning, and I got the call. They said there was no way we could trial on it or race on it. Unbelievable. Oh, we, and we never got that right. Well, if it gets... <laughs> it's not going to draw out, I'm telling you. Well, Sonata started Thursday. They didn't have to... Doubtful. Warrant to build tomorrow, it's normally a good track, so it'd be interesting to see what rain they got up through that Wimmera area, which is strange. Apart anyway. from that, I've got nothing because it's the middle of winter, it's July, end of financial year's over, four weeks to the mayor start falling. Oh. We've got horses going online next week, and uh, it's just treading water now until the spring carnival starts. Treading water. The only thing water. we're interested in is the football, and I got invited to go to Geelong next Thursday oh, night. Boy. Thursday night. Yeah, and they so, play in Melbourne at Cadenia Park. Which is every good game. Yeah, but it's going to be like two yeah. degrees and rain. It's like this. And no undercover. Might have done a hamstring for Thursday night. <laughs> <Just> say, <hey. laughs> anyway, let's leave it there because it <laughs> yeah. is too cold. So have a great weekend. Stay warm wherever you are. And uh, good luck to the connections on finals day at Flemington. Um, yeah, no, they're all good chances. It's a great day's racing for this time of year and it's... Um, you know, and it's not long till some of these, the Sir John Marsh, some of these stakes races kick off. So we won't be long and we'll be seeing some of these good horses go around in Victoria again as we head into the spring. So. Yeah, will Saab have his suit on tomorrow? Uh, I don't know what's Saab Home track. Doing. Home track, yeah. Maybe. He'll be up and about. I think I saw him, he's got a beard, has he? Where is he? I think he might have a beard on. Well, we might recognise him. <coughs> probably not a bad thing in this cold. But anyway, uh, he better be walking the track. He'll be suited up and I reckon he'll be sweat on the brow tomorrow. He'll be nervous. <laughs> Uh, good luck. All right. Good luck to everyone. May your runners run really well. Have a great weekend. I'm Darren Dance here with Peter Morgandy.